had you been a fan of Vampire Diaries or the originals prior to stepping into Raphael's against Werewolf? Um, I, I've seen a couple episodes and stuff before, but I wasn't really familiar with the world at all. So it was, it was, it's been an eye-opening experience for me because now I, I get to catch up on, on everything, and they're already done, so I can binge watch <laughs> everything. How has this role differed from your other roles in the past? Man, it's uh, it's it's really different. I get to like I'm on a roller coaster right now with this with this role. Like even the scenes that I I uh, shot today were just like all over the place. And I've, um, I was interested in playing this character because the last one that I did it was like this this rapper and there's so much in uh, in a certain box. And so coming here, I was just like, okay, cool. Can I expand myself as an actor? You know. So it's I'm I'm excited to play this one and see where I can take it. How awkward is it to film a transformation scene? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all saw it, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> it was funny one time with uh, with Danielle who plays uh, Hope. I was sitting there and I'm just like screaming and yelling and scratching at the floor and she's like looking at me and she was like, the camera's not on you. And I look up and I'm like, bet. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's fun, but after like six hours, you're like, I'm done screaming. Did you work with Arya to build your uh, interaction with his Man, like foster brother before boy, you started filming? I love that guy. Um, as soon as I landed, because I was like one of the last ones to, um, to come in, and I flew in from like New York, and I was like reading the script and like filming that day, and I was like, can I meet this guy who's my foster brother, who I have all this connection with? And um, I, I told him to come to my room, and I came, we went in there, and I was like, yo, I was like, what do you study? Or like, this and that, we, we had this whole backstory of like where, where we came up, how we met, and what we did. And then uh, we really bonded because like I'm trained under like Meisner technique, and then he was too. And he was like, I went to the playhouse. So like we get to do Meisner all the time, and we, we hang out outside of work just to just to keep that uh, that kinship together. So yeah. How much of um, Landon's backstory does Raphael know? Um, not too much. I don't. I don't. It, I don't think both of us know anything right now. <laughs> to be honest with you, they're kind of on that that journey as we speak. And from what I've seen, that's kind of what the first season seems like to me. It's like everybody finding themselves. Like I'm still trying to figure out who I am. Landon has no idea who he is at all. And um, yeah, all we know is uh, our foster parents that we've had because we've only been together. At this point, two years from what I know. Does Raphael feel a lot of guilt, like maybe wishing he had been the one that died in the car crash? Damn, wow. That hit me with that. Hit me with Sorry. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's crazy because this is like the, the second show that I've done where my girlfriend died. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, God, what am I doing? Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. Just because he was the, the one driving and then and then later on uh, uh, in some later episodes they they find out exactly what happened and some backstory kind of b behind that but definitely he, he he definitely holds that with him and his and he's he's cognizant of it when he's in an interaction with uh with a young lady that might be in the school you know and and that definitely comes up and it's always on his mind like even when he talked he was talking to lizzie and uh in the pilot like he was just like <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, my girlfriend just died, so yeah. So even though it seems like he's not ready for a relationship, right? Like mm -hmm. in the pilot, the way he shoots down Lizzie, he definitely has a connection with Josie. Like, that's <coughs> very evident, and mm -hmm. it's been the same amount of time that he's known both of them. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit more about that dynamic that he has with Josie and maybe why he feels um, more trusting of her, I guess, than Lizzie yeah, uh, initially? Um, for sure. Uh, easy. I mean, it's... Um, it just comes down to being re like relatable. Like that's that's with anybody who you feel more comfortable with. He's in this this new world, this this place he, he doesn't understand, and this person talked to him like he was a human being instead of like coming off rip like yo I want to get I want to get together with you. So I think I don't know if he necessarily liked her at that point, but he was talking to a human being and somebody was talking to him like, and I think that he appreciated that. What do you think is Raphael's impression of the Salvatore school, schools, especially since he's coming from the foster home? Does he see the school as like a place where he belongs or 
since he's also new to being a, a werewolf, is he sort of hesitant to sort of dive head first into this new world? Um, I think he's very hesitant of it. I think he's okay with it at first when Landon was there, and that's why he wants him to stay so bad because that's his, his brother. Things are easier to go through when you're with, with somebody you know. Mm -hmm. um, from what I could tell from when I was reading the scripts and when I first like started like forming this character for myself, like I don't think that he was in like bad foster homes, so I don't think that he was in like very like urban area cause, so I, I I made him like more all American. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that he's because he was a track star, so he's probably been at a, at a school that like that had some money and mm -hmm. this and that and that's what he was because he was gonna go that's to uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to college so. But I think he, he doesn't he doesn't trust these people just based off himself because he doesn't trust the world you know just from being not wanted as a child you know so I think that he's he's very distrusting of that um, yeah but so I'm I'm also curious to see like how like Alaric and my relationship like it, it grows because he's like the first I don't want to say father like the dad figure that's around me. And our dynamic, even as small as it was in the first episode, was like very interesting to me. And like we played with it, and and they continue like to play with it as we, we go along. So I'm interested to see how that that turns out.